Can a toy turn tween girls into the CEOs of the future? Our next guest is betting that it can. Goldie Miller is the owner of tween girl lifestyle brand Fashion Angels, which has just come out with a line of activity sets meant to cultivate the skills needed to become a CEO, right, right. Goldie? Thanks yes. so much. What motivated you to create this line? Well, Fashion Angels has been making activity kits and craft kits for girls for many years, and we knew that um, our customers were using our craft kits to make beautiful products and then selling them. So we thought we would be smart and take this a step further and not only give, a, give them the craft component of the activity, but give them all the information they would need to convert this into a real business. Well, I have to say, I, I am impressed because I went through and they look sort of frilly on the outside, but there's not a lot of fluff on the inside. There's Absolutely real information not. in there. Absolutely. They I never learned talk something. <laughs> great, great. Um, there's re you're right. There is real information. We never talk down to the girls in any of our products. Mm -hmm. Um, these are geared toward the tween girl between the age of 7, 8 to 12 and uh, these are ladies who will someday, we hope, become CEOs of their own corporations. And there are lots of examples in the real world right now. We have the MEJ hairline started, now a multi-million dollar business, started by two girls when they were 14. Mm -hmm. We have Shark Tank for kids now. We have girls starting fashion lines on eBay and social yes, media. So is this the zeitgeist? Are teens looking for ways to become entrepreneurs? Well, look at the, uh, uh, the success of Etsy. A lot of our girls tell us that they have shops on Etsy. Um, girls want to learn about business. And right. We hope that we can in inspire them through this, through starting with the uh, these kits and so that in future years they will say, I did this when I was 10, I can be the CEO today. So part of it is instilling confidence. Absolutely. I would have loved confidence. something like this when I was a young girl. You are a successful businesswoman now. Would you have benefited from something like this as a tween? Well, actually, going way back when I was uh, eight, I had my first backyard carnival for muscular dystrophy dystrophy and I believe that the entrepreneurial bug bit me at that moment. We right. were very successful. I did it for many years with my whole family and a lot of that information is in this these kits. It's fantastic. I just I, I love the different lines that you have. You have fashion, you have baking, you have jewelry. Just wondering if you might have some more gender neutral lines coming out in the future. Well we talk about having service businesses as well mm -hmm. and that is goes from dog walking to babysitting to uh, lawn care. Uh, we also talk about uh, opening a not-for-profit a not uh, uh, series of businesses too. So there's many different types of businesses and although we're speaking to girls today because um, that has always been our focus in our company but also women comprise 50 percent of the workforce but only four percent of executives. And we're we going to change that. We need to we change, hope that. To change that one girl at a time. Goldie Miller, thank you so much for <laughs> My all pleasure. That.